Good morning, afternoon, or evening to all of you people from the internet. I welcome to what? What's the name of this show again? Okay, uh, uh, we haven't created it yet. <laughs> no. The you decide the name of the show. No. You roll the intro. I don't know. <laughs> The show has a name, but we don't actually know it right now. Yeah, we don't know it. The future us will know it, but we of don't. Of course. We don't. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm Drake LeBlanc, and I'm here with the amazing... Tobanya! Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you watched um, any movies from Uganda? No. I... That's a very poor industry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's be. <laughs> let's be. And the girl, good the girl, hosts. the girl in that movie is called Tabanya. <laughs> you're ruining this show, the first ever episode, and you're ruining it. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it, it doesn't matter. This is not supposed to be a serious show. Okay, I'm Boops. Okay, you can call me that. Yeah. Is it okay? Is it's okay, okay now. <laughs> Fine, give me my tea. All right. We just watched. I don't know. Give me first. my tea. I don't have a tea. Oh, your tea. Of course. Because he's drinking green tea. Oh my god! <laughs> take it on the ear. Take okay, the okay, ear. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, All right. I, I'm All a right. tree drink. I'm a tea drinker. Sorry. Welcome to put name here, please. Oh. A show where we discuss. Movies or TV shows about video games. Yeah, is um, that supposed to be a good idea? I don't know. I I I don't watch movies that are based on anything really. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, most of the movies are based on books. So not really. Most, not all of them, but. Are we going to argue about movies and filmmaking? Maybe. <laughs> All right, we just watch. Yeah, <laughs> most movies are based on. Stop interrupting! Stop interrupting me! I can't. I'm known to be quite vexing. <laughs> I'm not Harley Quinn. I hate that bitch. All right, okay. we just watched the Ratchet and Clank movie, which Clark. is. Yeah, this is a thing between us that she she actually thinks that Clank is Clark. <laughs> And again, it is. I was sleeping. You were texting me <laughs> at night. <laughs> it was a photo. I I what I sent you a photo about the file that it was named Clank. It was big letters, big ass letters, and it it In says Clank. In a teeny Clank. tiny screen, because I was sleeping and looking at my phone at I don't know two a.m. and you were you were sending. Stuff to me shit. as we always do we send at night. Shit and say a lot of things. <laughs> so you asked me which movie do you want to watch, <laughs> and I was leaving. So I looked at, at the screen. And it was it was Ratchet between and Clark. Ratchet <laughs> and Clark. Anyway, we wa just watched Ratchet mm -hmm. and Clank, the movie which is based on the Ratchet and Clank video game series that came out on 2002, I guess. Mm -hmm. You don't know because you don't play video games, you are not <laughs> good. But I, <laughs> your job here is be a movie critic because you are <laughs> the movie critic. Yes! And I'm really good with games. So we are mixing... You are a game critic. I wouldn't say critic, but... But why am I a movie critic and you're not a game critic? I don't know. I, I, I don't <laughs> you were giving me you were giving me titles. I didn't make the script. <laughs> we don't have a script. Shut up! They don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The it, a game a video game series developed by Insomnia Games, who also worked on the Spyro the, Dra the Spyro the Dragon video games. Blah blah blah. All the journal things. What? Which one? Spyro the dragon, a little dragon that was purple. Okay, you haven't showed that to me. No, because it's not important. Okay. <laughs> it's not the same thingy that worked with ukulele and. No, no, it's. Blah, 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 blah. That, that's a bat. That's what? A bat. Oh, B A T. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This 
movie is supposed to be based on the first game on the series. Mm -hmm. It's a reimagining of the original story, the original story of, of how Ratchet met Clank and how they saved the galaxy for the first time. It's not Clark. <laughs> but it should be. Okay, continue. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what can... Well, it was an all right movie. No, it wasn't. It, it was, was pretty, but it yeah. wasn't all right. We were discussing that... Um, well, I think you were very condescending because <laughs> you played the game <laughs> and I didn't. So I don't, I don't have this connection to the characters. But I hated everybody. <laughs> I I thought that all of the characters had this particular characteristic that maybe even the names were given to them because of that characteristic. So which uh, I think it's very unoriginal. So you have uh, this very gloomy character who's called Grim, and you have this very reckless character who's called Ratchet. <laughs> so okay. I th yeah. just I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I didn't find the movie um, a really good movie. There it could have been worse. Yeah, it can always be worse. It could have been. Have you watched the Smurfs? S freaking Smurfs! No, Smurfs. I haven't. We Please don't. Watch. No, no. <laughs> Come well, on. Yeah. Well, the thing is that this movie differs greatly from the video games because. There, there was first of all there was this thing called the galactic Ra galactic rangers that didn't exist until later in the games the first game was just oh there's a big hero that was called quark wh who bobs hate <laughs> really much yeah because he's as i said before he's the representation of all galactic douchebaggery yeah Actually, that's the main idea behind the character. He's supposed to be this coward uh, asshole that protects, that says that protects everybody. But in the, in the end, he's actually a big lie. He he's, he's a big joke. <laughs> yeah, the thing is that he was supposed to be a, a big hero. Well, on the games, then he fought Doctor Nefarious, Nefarious, which is not supposed to appear on the first game. You know. I love him. <laughs> he's he's so over to the top of that it's so great. I love him. He's it's, so sassy. <laughs> it's actually the best part of this movie, the best character. I, yeah, I, I, sh with I shall Clark. say Clark. Clark. With Clark. Clark is a very strange little teeny tiny robot that I love because he's super smart and he's very polite. I like polite people. And even though he's not people I like him and he was very nice and very teeny tiny and so useful so very very useful I don't know <laughs> during the game they they're, they're traveling all through these planets that they're in danger because Drake is, is starting to who? Drake mm, okay. Commander Drake who, Drake who is actually using this big thing called the, the planetizer to extract big parts of the planet which will destroy them eventually mm -hmm. to create this um this how can we say it's the perfect planet for 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 creatures to live yeah. in but it's like a frankenstein creature yeah. planet yeah but it looked really nice at the end by the way this is maybe but this may be from inside i mean this have spoilers so be careful. No. Yeah, you yeah. should say that at the beginning. I didn't. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This planet didn't look that bad. It was very colorful. Yeah. Just but one part of it. Yeah. Any anyway, um, uh, during the game, it was supposed. We all <coughs> always knew that Quark was. On Drake's si side, because he in the game, yeah, okay. he offered this big fame that he was supposed to be a hero, while he protected his evil plan about destroying planets, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And also, Ratchet and Clank developed this kind of friendship, mm. yeah. But the thing is that 
eh, Clang was searching for a hero f to save the galaxy. They find Quark and they tell them to go to this hero training where a Quark actually tries to kill this duo. That yeah. moment is where Ratchet start to get really pissed about Clang because I don't know. It, He's an Wait. he's a bit of an asshole in the games. He, and in this movie Ratchet. Ratchet, Ratchet is supposed to be the good guy, the the yeah, the good boy actually during the whole movie he's supposed to be that. Yeah. The game is like a little bit of an asshole to towards Clank during the end. Why? But why? He's so <laughs> he's so useful and smart and teeny tiny and polite. Well, the, those kind of people that you don't want to anything <laughs> you don't to want happen to, to them. them like no you want to protect them because they are so precious <laughs> but the thing is that Ratchet was a little immature on the game so the I thing always thought he was an idiot well he is not the biggest idiot you know he no I mean that's well, Quark yeah that's Quark but the thing is that Clank was bra was brought in to be the balance between the idiotness that <laughs> Ratchet had. Oh. Uh, so that is that. Well, Ratchet was an immature. He didn't care about the galaxy. He just wanted to go places, get get new guns, mm. because the game is about guns, running gun and shooting everything. But with Very this, deep indeed. <laughs> but with this incident, <laughs> uh, Ratchet was supposed to be really pissed. I, um, Clang because uh, you you get you almost get us killed and blah blah blah. He was an asshole, but then when he actually saw this this thing that the the planetizers destroy a planet, he he kind of he changed and. It's yeah, but do you realize how stupid that is? I mean, it's stupid. I didn't like Ratchet on the first game. <laughs> Why would you need to see a whole planet destroyed to change your stupid mind? And like, why can you be a nice and little blobloms? <laughs> uh, what was the race again? Lombax. <laughs> yeah. It's a Lombax. Yeah. Why can you be a nice Lombax towards a robot? Like, from the beginning till the end. No, you have to see a fucking planet getting destroyed by some asshole. And, yeah... Go with it. Why? I hate. Well. I hate him. I hate him <laughs> with Quark and and all the others. I mean, not all of them. No. Yeah. It was Elaris. Elaris was the voice of wisdom, and nobody fucking listened to her. <laughs> well, the thing is that the the story of the movie differs too much from the games because, as I said before, there were no Galactic Rangers. <gasps> there was no Doctor Nefarious during the first game. Mm. It was just Captain <coughs> Commander Drake, however th their name is, and Quark being the main antagonist. Commander Drake is Co the guy that looks like my brother's father? Yeah, that, you say that. <laughs> the, the guy with a ponytail, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah, <coughs> actually Sorry. the basic plot of the game I is actually on the movie, but there's a lot of things going on that... I don't know. Don't it's make any sense. Yeah, it's kind of confusing so sometimes. Uh, so, a lot of t other times. And this brings the humor, which is. Mm, forced. <laughs> yeah, too forced. I actually laughed. Maybe uh, twice when I while I was sleeping? Tw yeah, <laughs> twice during, to movie, during the movie because they were not a lot of funny jokes in there no it was just forced humor and the tw 21st minutes of the movie I fell asleep because I'm a very anemic person and <laughs> he didn't woke me up because I don't know I was concentrating because the first minute minutes of the movie was okay ish okay. and then the movie start with these long pauses about characters talking saying catchphrases maybe mm. yeah this movie is a lot of catchphrases that there's actually a discussion between two characters i'm not gonna say which ones quark and nefarious <laughs> <laughs> yeah they were discussing but i liked it um, it was that was a fun joke yeah yeah but they were discussing catchphrases 
and the fire said, no, you can't mix two phrases, you just pick one and... Yeah, because the other guy was mixing it, but it doesn't matter because he's an idiot. <laughs> the thing is <clears throat> that you were saying that I don't know. Uh, oh, that the humor was forced. Forced. Yeah, because it's it seems that the, this movie decided to be for little kids. If, if you could see that because the humor was a little simple sometimes. And too unoriginal. I mean, if you have actually seen a lot of movies you wouldn't find that funny because you've seen it so many times yeah the guy falling um, of a chair and it's actually classic slapstick the the thing classic what slapstick the what is it what, what what's, for what's that? <laughs> well for those who don't know thank uh, you <laughs> uh, slapstick is actually It came from basically the Looney Tunes or Tom and Jerry okay. where the hum humor is actually physical about, <coughs> I don't know, they slap you, they throw anything on your head. Mm. Like the crazy things happening that hurts, hurts people. Mm, I didn't know that. You learned something thank new you. every day. Thank you, thank you. But the thing is that, yeah, they were slapstick moments mm. that maybe one or two were There, I, I want to say good, but you won't agree with me. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, okay. Uh, I might look like someone who likes old movies. I don't. <laughs> I <laughs> basically hate everything that it's not at the level of Alfred Hitchcock, maybe? I don't know, I like that guy. Or... Maybe it's the fact that I always watch fucked up movies. That's why I have my blog. Go watch her blog. Uh, yeah, go read my blog. <laughs> it's a Spanish, but go, go, just go. Yeah, you will find very interesting movies to watch, but it doesn't matter because today we're talking about this one in particular. Yeah, and uh, and the thing is, the the video games were. A little mature, if we can, if we could say that they were not actually mature about, I don't know, adult, adult stuff. But the thing is that they were some jokes that adults were going to find more appealing. Uh, appealing, yeah. For for example, the the second game okay. is called Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. Mm -hmm. Going commando, you know what that means? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's not about snipers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, going commando, I, I... going commando, it's about be naked. What? N going commando, yeah. N naked. Being naked. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. The third game. I thought that commando <laughs> was this sort of. No, it is, but war. Zone <laughs> movements like you it are is. talking through walkie talkies. It, it is, but it it has a second meaning about that. I know, I don't know, sexual meaning maybe. You're teaching me so many stuff. Today. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I do that sometimes. But the thing is, yeah, the third game okay. is called Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. <gasps> Up your arsenal. Yeah, that I get. <laughs> yeah. But the other one, no, I didn't. <laughs> But the thing is that, yeah, they try, they try it. Okay, we are experiencing some really, really annoying technical problems. Because we have a lot of minutes explaining why this movie is was a piece of crap. But the microphone decided to stop working because the cable <laughs> is shit. But the yeah. thing is, yeah, yeah, this movie. I forgot what I said. It was so I, good. Yeah, it was so I did good. a good job. <laughs> okay, we were saying that this movie was a piece of shit. Uh, according to me, yeah. according to him, it was not as bad because it it, it could have been really worse. Like mm. the Smurfs movie, with was all uh, pop cultural things. I don't know. It, it was like, oh, it, we're playing uh, Guitar Hero. Haha, <laughs> so funny. But it was pop culture, though. Like, the guys in this movie were texting. They were aliens texting and calling their moms 
in their kitchen. Uh, actually, that was a、uh, recurrent joke because、yeah. every time Drake was not watching, they were and oh, the and cringe. They were texting, and who are they texting? I mean, they are aliens that work twenty four seven. Or as many days as their week have, they were working in this kind of ship 24/7. They didn't have any families to go to, and they were texting all day. W- when Derek, Derek, I don't、Drek. know, Drek wasn't watching, and that was so much fun. The first time it was fun, it and then it wasn't, and then we should do it again because comedy. It was a movie. Directed by Adam Sandler. No, it wasn't. <laughs> But it looked like one.、Um, oh, please don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like Adam Sandler. No, 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 because now every everybody on the internet is going to hate me. <laughs> okay, no, he doesn't like Adam Sandler. Please. But you kind of say it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no.、Uh, the thing is, yeah, um, um, yeah, all these characters were these. Glitches、mm. that the movie was aware of this, but they didn't. They didn't add a twist that make us, I don't know, laugh. Could you plug my computer, please? Oh, because it's gonna turn off, and we're gonna lose everything again. How would you? Where is it? Where is it? Behind you, where my phone was. Yeah, now we're rolling. Yeah,、oh, as I said, as I said, the movie had these cliche characters. They didn't actually do anything with this. They were aware. This is the tough guy. This is the stupid guy. This is the guy that I wanted to shoot things. And we have the female version of that. <clears throat> yeah. None of them. To be inclusive. Thank you. <laughs> I well. No, of the none of them were memorable. No. And we actually talked about it for so much time before, but we lost everything. Shit. And、uh, yeah, they were not memorable. They didn't have any particular characteristic aside from、uh, the fact that they were actually very violent or stupid. Yeah. And the female version of the violent and stupid guy. And Elaris that I liked because they were repeating her name all over the place. And she actually had good ide- ideas, but no, no body listened to her. No, because she was a woman. <laughs> no, no, but let's go. Let's, don't go there, please. <laughs> no, but nobody listened to her because she, she was smart, but her solutions didn't involve any violence. Yeah, that's the thing. And w- of course, you should be listening to the person that it's not going to get you killed. But okay, let's go with the big guy that wants to shoot things, and let's follow the lumbax because he's so cute and looks like a cat. Yeah, he's cute. He is cute, but he's a douchebag. And you、no. said, you said, okay, I'm quoting. You said he was. Kind of、uh, nassle in the game because he was so mean to Clank. Yeah, I I never like like how Ratchet was p- portrayed on the first game because he he was an immature prick that that only wanted to do was to get big guns, explore planets, um I don't know, and when they saw that Quark betray them. They tried to kill. No, when Quark tried to kill them,、uh, he was so pissed at Clank because you almost get us killed because you said we should g- 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 seek for this guy and get his help. I don't know. And what the fuck, man? I don't know. I don't know. I liked Clank because he was so cute, so precious. <laughs> <I like laughs> so、him. precious up for this、so、freaking world. Precious.、Um, Clank was a very interesting character. I liked it,、um, and it was this character that showed some kind of evolution during the movie. But、mm. the others, I mean, Ratchet was an idiot from the beginning until the end. But he copied. 
a, a, an advice that somebody else gave to him and that was the whole evolution and he realized that his hero was an idiot because he's an idiot if you're an idiot your hero is an idiot that's how life works and he realized it when he found out spoilers uh we he find out that this guy that i hate is quark well, yeah quark was he betrayed the galactic <laughs> rangers because exactly because he was not famous because every everybody was oh ratchet ratchet is our hero and because of fame fame <laughs> <laughs> like can you be more idiotic <laughs> why would you do that that's some kim kardashian stuff there we don't have any associations with this conversation or anything like that <laughs> sorry um oh there was this character that was voiced by sylvester sloan and he dies he dies but because in the movie they didn't know how rust works like you have this machine and you put water on it and it's going to rust immediately because space what they're in space meaning everything Expl can happen in space explain to me why the fact that they are on space means that rust is going to be all over the thing the minute that water touches it why <laughs> space <laughs> It's like people are trying to say to, to uh, protect of some sort of way the fact that uh, the ships in um, the movie with the ships with Titanic. Yoda, no Star Wars. Yeah, people that like Star Wars. I'm not a fan, but <coughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of Star Wars. I don't, I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy ships and stuff. Um, but they defend this thing about the ships having sound in space why <laughs> sound doesn't travel in, in <laughs> void why are you fucking sounding <laughs> there's a second reason because science fiction yeah. i won i won yeah it's like religious people trying to defend their gods saying faith faith you know <laughs> we believe in it yeah. yeah, they believe in sound and space. All but right. it, uh, this it movie could matter. have been a lot worse. I've said this a lot of times because it didn't record and stuff. What the thing is, mm. there, there were a lot of Easter eggs about the video games that were present here. The weapons! The weapons. For example, Mr. Serkin. That. <laughs> I almost cried though. Oh, I'm sorry. I just had to and do it. The Shipinator. Which the Sheepinator! It was so good. So good. Yeah, I liked it. And the Reno the that rhino. we couldn't see. Yeah, oh, Reno, see. Rhino. I don't rhino. know how to pronounce it's a, it's it. It's Rhino. Rhino. And it's, it's, it is supposed to be the most powerful weapon on the universe. He told and, me that. And we actually see the weapon. Dr. Nefarious created it, created it and he was about to shoot, but then Ratchet punches him. And we actually didn't see any missiles going anywhere. We wanted, I wanted, because he told me that it was the most powerful weapon that it was supposed to shoot, I don't know, a thousand thingies at once. And I was so excited to see it. And he, we were watching the movie and he said, oh my god, the rhino! Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what is this? I was crying. <laughs> he was so excited. And then the love box punched the green guy. Negative nefarious. And we couldn't see what the weapon did. And I was so pissed because <laughs> it had this rhino f head shape and it was so cute. <laughs> I, I wanted to see it. Uh, but yeah. you cannot see it in the movie because, again, it's a terrible, terrible movie. <laughs> we were saying. With good the action scenes. The, the action scenes were the best part because the humor was horrible yeah it the was humor so was forced horrible. the the video game was supposed to be a little more mature because as i said before um they were a little <gasps> bit more appealing to adults you were teaching me he yeah. was teaching me for stuff. example the the sequel was named ratchet and clank going commando which means get naked yeah and i the, didn't know that <laughs> the third game was up your arsenal mm -hmm. which that is I did know. yeah 
and I don't know, Quest for Booty. What? Quest for Booty. Oh, I have a friend whose cat is named Booty. <laughs> But the thing is, it's about about pirates, so Booty. <gasps> yeah. Oh, uh, I I just thought about an ass. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. That's the thing. And um, a recent game is called Full Frontal Assault. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, the thing is, the humor here was so childish, so forced that, well, there were a couple of good jokes, but that's it. I, I was like, <laughs> and and he woke me up. Yeah, it's and so forced. It's so kind of predictable sometimes. And we've watched movies together, and we don't kind of like. Um, movies that are just for children we watched do you remember when we went to the cinema to watch finding dory oh yeah that was that we almost cried <laughs> <laughs> yeah we were crying from the beginning yeah we were great but that movie is not just for children and we grew up with it yeah it, the thing is that pixar is supposed to make movies that look a little bit childish but they are dark tones on the plot that may interest very deep a lot of people emotion. it's very deep and <clears throat> when you can well i don't know if the studio who made this movie but it was supposed to be co-written by the people who wrote the games and the games were actually pretty funny and the, they the, for uh they were for um, if, like if they had a t rating <laughs> i don't know how to say it <laughs> They were for people that are not that childish anymore. Yeah, yeah, but I I don't know. <laughs> I feel so disappointed. Yeah, I I'm disappointed too. Um, I was so hyped to see this movie since 2013 when they teased that movie. Was yeah, he was very excited. He actually. Um, You texted me. Yeah. I remember that you texted me, but like a year ago. We should go see this movie. Yeah. My childhood and everything like that. And <laughs> yeah, he texted oh. me that he wanted to go to the cinema. Um, he wanted to go to see this movie, and I was like, okay, we can go because I like movies and stuff. And now he texted me one night. And he told me, "Okay, choose a movie between two terrible movies." He wanted to. I didn't to know. I, I knew. I, I know. I knew this movie was sup not supposed to be good because Rotten Tomatoes says it has 12% of. <laughs> oh, la, la. but the thing is, they say that the Angry Birds movie was a 50% good, and I thought, well, that must be a misunderstanding. I don't know. I haven't watched that movie either. I don't watch movies that are related to video games. And, we and I will. hate Angry Birds. We will. We eventually. Will. Okay. Because this show is about video game movies. Uh, and we're gonna review a lot of them. Yeah. I just say yes because you bring me cookies. Yeah. You're my slave now. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine whatever you want. <laughs> But uh, the thing is that I was so sad. No, it wasn't sad because we laughed about uh, everything that was in this movie. We were actually we told you already, but we lost the recording that this movie it's a great movie to watch with a friend if you want to point out the shitty things that it has because or, you are going to laugh about it. Or maybe a Ratchet and Clank fan pointed out the Easter eggs about the game, and yeah, if you're a Ratchet and Clank fan, you like the video games. You might. Uh, you might not want to die. Maybe watch it out of curiosity, but you will not find uh, a lot of entertainment here. No, you won't enjoy it, but you won't be like us wanted it to end. Yeah, I re really wanted the movie to end when we were 30 minutes in. Yeah, I I looked at you and you were, how much is it again? <laughs> and I really loved Ratchet and Clank. They're they're really fun characters, at least on the games, because here they were. We don't see a lot of things going on between them. In the game? Here in the movie, because in the games they are pretty close. They're, 
But here they are close. I mean, they are attached to each other. Yeah, B but we don't see a lot of talk between them unless it's plot convenient. Mm. We don't see the conflict that there was supposed to be in the game where Ratchet wa was supposed to have a character development. They were insta buddies. Insta buddies. Mm. And. <laughs> insta buddies. Insta buddies. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. They were. There was no conf conflict between them. But I kinda like that because Ratchet on the games was an asshole. And he blamed. Clark. <laughs> Stop bullying me. He, he blamed Clank because something he didn't actually do. Okay, don't tell me anything else about the game because I want to play it sometime. Yay! I'm gonna play it sometime and maybe you can record my playing to show everybody that I suck. <laughs> because I do. <laughs> All right. But it doesn't matter because I do it just out of curiosity. I'm not a gamer. I don't look to be a gamer any or anything. But like. you like some games. Yeah, I, I I actually made you play one. Ori and the Blind Forest, you should play it, please. Yeah, it was a it was a great game. He was crying his eyes out because spoiler no, alert. No, no, no. That's a topic for another day. Please. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, final so, thoughts. Final thoughts on the movie. I uh, give it a score of 3.5. Out of, I, 10. out of 10 I don't think you should watch it because I don't think you're stupid enough to find it funny if you watch it and find it funny I'm sorry I didn't mean to say that you were stupid but okay I just did <laughs> I'm sorry um, um, what else I I will find a friend sorry <laughs> please find a friend if you are really really into it find a friend who is going to watch it with you uh, Point out the bad things and blah blah blah. And the Easter eggs, e Easter e eggs, e Easter eggs that I didn't, I didn't know anything about it. I I had to explain a lot of things to you. About yeah, the game. <laughs> you but, like explaining yeah. things to me. Yeah, but I think I'll give it a four point two because it tried to be Ratchet and Clank. It really tried, but it failed so hard. <laughs> it failed. <laughs> the source material was there. They tried to reach it, but no, you had to do it for the kids. His opinion. The kids. <laughs> His opinion has been changing since we started making this podcast. But I, I made the same score, the same score. I gave the same score. Yeah. But yeah, you opened my eyes about this movie. <laughs> he was uh, actually very condescending. He said that, okay, maybe some people are going to enjoy it. And I was the like, the Clank fans may enjoy it. May. Mm, yeah. I was like, no, nobody's going to enjoy this. He's too childish. The humor is forced. The character, there's no character development whatsoever because well, well, you think. Is, but it's the, you th no. made you think there's character <laughs> development. <laughs> That's the Quark. Thing. Quark had this semi-character development when he sees a planet planet getting destroyed and it, he, he says uh, uh, maybe I did something wrong I don't know and then yeah. when Ratchet tries to stop this mess Quark appears and says oh, what are you gonna do let's battle because Action scenes. You need action scenes because they yeah, are the best I part mean, of this they movie. take <laughs> away the character development from you. I, they, they take it away. Like they give it to you. You think you're watching, hopefully a not so bad movie, but then they destroy your hopes and dreams. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't watch it. Watch it with a with a friend just for fun. Yeah, um, that's the thing. Don't kill time with this movie. It's going or, to be or play terrible. The, per, play the game based on on the movie because that's a better experience. Yeah, you you said that the game yeah, was but, very very good. Yeah, well, there there's the original game on 2002 or three, but there there's a reimagining of this game that is based on the movie that's based on the game mm -hmm. that actually is pretty good. It's a remake. Mm. It's actually pretty good there because gameplay, the gameplay is the thing that moves the games. 
the story is like it's nice to have a story on a game but you will um, enjoy even more the gameplay that's what makes a, the game a game i don't know what, what, I, what i'm saying <laughs> it's play the game don't watch the movie yeah and that those are our final thoughts we hope that this recording is going to be um successful yeah um yeah i i i hope that you like it hearing us because you're not one to watch but hearing us complain well, about things and stuff i'm always complaining he's always being condescending until i complain and then he's complaining because we are two old bitches yeah <laughs> And uh, we like doing that, so I hope that you find it quite interesting, at least. Oh, okay, not interesting, but time worthy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I hope that you don't find it this cringe worthy. Because we had enough of cringe worthy things watching this film. Yeah. So have fun. Um, um, please punch me in the face before I remember I watched this movie. <laughs> you see how he changes? I changed so much. <laughs> you changed me. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. I hate myself.